Hi guys, hey. Um, I've been seeing you all in a while. The last time I saw you guys, I was heading to a uh, RAM pre trial or PTQ. I wanted to do it was some magic. Uh, for this one, I wanted to do a small little, I don't know, box opening, I guess, for you guys, for the channel. And in any case, I don't think I'll be editing anything in this one. I think I'll just be posting this up as soon as I, I finish open all my packs. Uh, unfortunately, as it is, uh, the second hand, the secondary camera that I have here. Oh dear! Thank you so much noise. Stop, please. Uh, the second hand camera that I have here uh, is supposed to capture all the face down imagery and stuff, but it's not working at the moment. I need to find out what's wrong with it. But until then, I will just uh, open the packs uh, and then, since I'm using a laptop camera and using laptop mic. We'll see how it goes. All right, guys. Cool. Um, I hope you guys have been having a pretty awesome summer vacation. Soon as it'll be school, and everybody gotta get to class and stop playing games. Well, not really, not too much, now. All right, then. Now on to the first pack. This is from the new pack, Duelist Alliance. This is where all of the new meta stuff is gonna come out in. Shuttles, uh, some support cards for warrior type decks. So, uh, Raging Battle Roar or Home Home Guard Battle Roar, which is a normal trap card, which you can activate. Uh, I think during a damage step also because it's a technically a trap a trap on it. So you can activate it during a damage step. And here's the first pack. Can't really show you exactly everything that I pull from this. Uh, let's see then. First is a Melodious uh, Diva. One of them. Support card for Yang Zing, which will be a pre predominant deck. But then you always have Maxi and that type of stuff to shut this type of deck down. Uh, let's see Hippo Carnival, which is the new uh, scapegoats, I guess. Which is pretty funny. Uh, but it's a little worse than scapegoats because you can't use them to special summon anything from the extra deck or you cannot summon anything from the extra deck as long as you control the hipper token. That's pretty sad. Then I wanted uh, one of those. Uh, Shadow Squid Mata. Which was Shadow Scorpion OTG, I think. If I remember correctly. Uh, let's see. Uh, entertainment. Oh, Perform Animal. It been changed. It used to be intimate in LCG. Uh, one of the new Pendulum Monsters. Oh, one of the Monarch cards. Cool. During your turn, if you activate this card, uh, Monarch's Sword Storm. Storm Forth. Okay. Then it's the new field spell for the new Archetype that's coming out. The UA Stadium for the um, Ultra Athletes. Uh, Fishboard Doctor, it's one of from the Fishboard archetype, and one of the new Karkardis, I think? No. Oh, no. In the television series, it was kind of like a Karkardi, you could tribute them, draw two cards. But after the, okay, after you normal summon this card, you can tribute one, you can tribute summon one level, summon higher. At Okay, okay, okay. Okay, you can tribute summon. Okay, uh, in, to, in addition to your normal summoner set, so you can basically, um, I guess how this would work, I guess you would uh, special summon something, normal summon him, and then you can tribute both of them, or does this count for both? I think, no, okay, level 7 higher, nope, it doesn't say oh, under what limitations it is, so I would assume it's probably under the regular rules of the card game, so you can't do shit with it after you normal summon it, but it's fun. Um, a Statella Knight, oh, it's gonna be backwards, but this is a Statella Alpha, it's one of the equip spells. Oh, Recover, one of the, uh, Glow Bulb, uh, replacements, I guess. It's a Psychic Tuner, you can pay 2,000 life points you can get back, and it's Banish if it leaves the field. It can use effect once per turn, so it doesn't have the limitation. Um, as a lot of other tuners, like, what's his face again? Uh, not Dandelion, the other one. The, the, the level tuner that you can only use once per duel. Anyway, and then it is Battle Guard Rage. This is not Trap Card that you're using, but it's not a bad one either. He gets one attack, uh, 1000 attack point boost, 
and uh, monsters destroyed by battle with it are returned to the hand instead of going to the graveyard and it's a equip card so whenever it leaves it leaves the battlefield let's see uh satellite uh i'm not gonna even fucking bother pronouncing it it's basically a foolish burial for satellites so you can dump call of the haunted special summon special summon special summon uh make a three material rank four exceed so it's pretty okay face off uh damage step uh counter trap so fuck you, Bujans, basically. Ooh, uh, pendulum, all right, pendulum monster. Oh, cool, Alton. Oh shit, well, that sucks. Kind of wanted the construct to be in the ulti. Oh well, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spit in the horse's mouth. Um, let's see. Shadow Hedgehog, my second one so far, since I bought uh, the box in an extra pack. And luckily I was able to get the box because uh, I think a few people pre-ordered or I think at least one person pre-ordered. Oh, ritual support card, by the way. Um, when you use this for ritual summon, all your, uh, the monster that we use for ritual summon cannot be targeted by card effects or unaffected by card effects. Or cannot be targeted by card effects. Okay. And then one of the uh, BLS primal seed support cards. That is the second pack, and I'm already on to my first ulti. I'm already, uh... <sighs> so ecstatic. <laughs> oh man, this sucks so much. Uh... Agent Uranus. The dark version of the support card. Of the Gaia support card. Gaia, Gaia the Polar Knight. It doesn't really matter to me what they, they all do. They're just kind of like the um, support cards for the light, not the light pulsar dragon and dark flame dragon, but the level four versions of them. So I guess you can run them in the whole chaos deck. So it's actually chaos themed, which is pretty sweet. Uh, this one has the effect of you can tribute one other dark monster to add one level four or higher uh, light warrior type monster from your hand. You can banish one light monster from your graveyard to target one monster you control that gets one attack on yeah one uh, five hundred attack until the end. Uh, until the end of your opponent's turn. Once per turn each turn. So it can technically become... Okay, if there's a next one next to it, it can come... The light monster could become 21, or if there's a next... Uh... Let's see... Dracocension, which is pretty okay. Uh, once per turn, you contribute one... Dragon type monster that ha that has a level special summon from your deck. One worm type monster, the same level as a tributed monster original level. If you do any monsters, any monster destroyed by battle without monster shuffle to the deck instead of going to the graveyard. So technically a mirror geist effect, which is pretty sweet. So you can tribute a level ten worm and get a level ten dragon, which is kind of it's kind of cool. Uh, the next burning abyss support card. It looks like a giant boar. The Macalambre. Okay. Oh, Big C of the Yang Zing, which is okay, I guess. I think it's like a 10, 10 euro super, I guess. Or it's gonna drop a lot of these support cards. A lot of these cards are just gonna drop from the 20 euros to the 30 euros to all the way to, to the worthless of nothing. Anyway, uh, UA Stadium, which is pretty okay. Uh, Statella support card. Uh, this one allows you to special summon. One from your hand. I think you're only gonna run one of this because it's it's okay if you want to special summon from your hand, but from your graveyard or from your deck is a little more important. Uh, Ultra Heavyweight. There's an OTK deck with this thing. You can check it out on Asian Eyes's channel that he built a deck around it, just for short shits and giggles and the field spell. It's not too bad, I guess. In a mirror match or side, you can side this side this in a mirror match, but I would prefer siding super volleys anyway because super volleys are a lot more versatile because then you can. Um, play some extra deck stuff that you would normally play extra deck Just I think like elemental heroes Or hero hands anyway, which is basically hands plus heroes or heroes are the psychics or the support cards That they can maybe I don't know do something fun But right now it's gonna be so predominant sh shuttles and a lot of people are gonna side deck a whole lot of aggressive stuff against it so get your Jedi, uh, Genix ally stuff ready. Anyway, another Melodious bitch. 
Whoop, 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 trap card. Chain Dispel. When a spell card is activated, destroy all other cards and controls deck with the same name as an activated card. Mm, meh. 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 It's not too bad. Not something I'd want to run in my deck or whatever, but. Mm, meh. Exchange of Nightmare, you can um, search up, it's a search card. Then you send one from your hand and then search for one from me to yeah, I know the same level and blah 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 blah, all that type of stuff. Uh, equip spell again. Heavyweight Samurai. You a mighty slugger. Oh, and this is the Battle Guard. Battle Guard Howling is the card's name actually. So then you can, um, I'll read out a card for effect. When a warrior type monster you control is target for attack but or by an opponent's uh, monster effect, target one face up card your opponent controls, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the original attack of the face up monster targeted with this attack. And if you do, return it to the hand. So you can return some, I don't know, pretty problematic cards. So, say for example, like, I don't know. Uh, like a shadow attack to your your uh, warrior type monster. I don't know. I, I ran into this in Stella. I ran into this against uh, Stella Knights and Shadow and uh, not Shadow and Noble Knights. I had this flipped up on me when I was playing Attack with Midrash or Winda. It's called now Attack with Winda. Okay, uh, Battle Guard Howling. I took twenty two hundred and I lost my plus two. Well, not really plus two, I lost my plus one. Technically, you technically get your plus two from the whole thing. And then she's your standing plus two, I guess. Because if you discard a beast and a dragon, you technically get a bit plus out of it, yes. Which is pretty sweet. Uh, Chaos Seed. Which is kind of... Uh, you, if you control both light and dark monsters, you can target one banished light or dark warrior type monster or monsters. And add it to your hand. You can only activate one chaos seed per turn. Uh, basically, be a less support card. Nothing more, nothing less. Hippo Carnival. The foolish burial for Satellanites. I'm gonna want to run three of those, I guess. Uh, equip spell, it's equip, it's a union card for exceeds, which allows it to special summon it itself, and you can send it to the graveyard to inflict 500 more uh, damage to your opponent. So I guess it's a, enough to whack away your opponent for game. Uh, Perfect Ace, uh, another UA support card. I don't know, why the fuck am I holding cards like this? It's not the television series. Oh, I guess this is our foil that we pulled. Okay. Uh, Gaia the Midnight Sun, uh, Rituals the Martyr, Yang Zing Unleashed, Battleguard Howling. Alright, guys, I think I will not be naming much of these cards off anymore because it's getting pretty exhausting to do it. So I'll just hold up the cards in front of the camera. So then we can get an idea of like, okay, if you come across these cards, these cards are what they are. Believe me, blah 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 blah. Uh, Drag Ascension, tribute a card. Uh, Agent Uranus. Oh, cool. Um, all tier. Isn't he a super? And then there's Miracle Spring, which is a card I'll have to read because I didn't see it either. Uh, but this is one of the Stotella Knight's um, main monsters, basically. This is their boss. This is their boss. Uh, min Miracle Spring. And draw a number of cards equal to the number of face of spell and trap cards your opponent's control. Then discard that number equal to the number until the end of your opponent's next turn after this card is activated. Until... Spell and trap cards cannot be... Your opponent can... Oh wow, that is very dicey. This this allows you to basically if they have a whole bunch of like face up spells and traps, so like pendulum cards, I guess you can count those too. Is that they can draw two. Like say for example, you have your full pendulum scale and maybe like a phoenix chain up or feed spell up or whatever, they'll be able to draw two or three. And then they discard it at the end of your turn, while well, you being the opponent, at the end of the next turn, and then they can make uh, they can make pluses off of this thing. But it's so weird. It's 
I, I can argue to say it's downright bad, but uh, Despot. Why am I using, holding these fucking cards like a Yu-Gi-Oh character? Yeah, this Chakram, one of the support cards that they don't need. Uh, during either player's turn, when a card effect would destroy a spell and card tra trap card, you while this card is in your hand, you return, return one set spell or trap you control up to the yeah, and then special summon this card. Blah blah blah. It's not really that good. Uh, Resonance Insect. I will not read this card. Fuck load of text on Yu-Gi-Oh cards these days. There you go. Insect with a, ha a ass for a heart. Beam, melodious bitch. You can special summon yourself or something. Oh no, it's a. Uh, While well, this card is special summon, all fairy type monsters you control get 5 and 5. Not bad. And this is a lot, my guys. Because in all honesty, I would just like to kind of just open this. So what I'm going to do is that I am just going to take out all the foils and all the rares out of it. And I'll just show you guys what I pulled. And then we'll call that even. Okay, guys? Awesome. Okay, for my next pack, I opened um, Skarm. And Awesome. One of the supers. And it's the one that can burn your opponent for 1,000. It's okay if you want to kind of like... Fuck them up for using soul charge to that much. And Skarm has a pretty nice interaction with um with Kree Bandit for being able to excavate because a lot of your effects are a lot of the burning fist burning abyss effects are are sent to the grave effects. So you get them out that way. So we're gonna do the same deal with this one, like all the non importance, we're just gonna sort those out. Oh, Well, no foils in this one, except for uh, Shadow Falco, which is kind of like one of the stable cards you'll want to run in the deck. And if you flip them, you can press summon one of your shadows in a face down defense position, and if he's destroyed by a card effect, or sent to the grave by a card effect, not destroyed, if he's sent to the grave by a card effect, not a cost, then you can um, special summon him. Any pause from this? Nope. Well, this toad. Ribbit. So I guess the rest of this pack I opened. Two supers, one ulti. No ultras yet. No, one secret. One secret. This is not looking too good, guys. Oh dear god. What is this? Ooh, cool. Well, uh... I got something back from from my effort. <laughs> anyway, uh, one shot all core, pretty decent staple. Um, I think you'll only want to run one of this. So I, if I open a next one, I'll be pretty sad. Uh, Breaker, the magical warrior, the dark magical warrior, and allows you to destroy some spells and traps. And he gets four hundred for every spell counter that is on him specifically. Or around the place. Nope, just on him specifically. Um, um let's see, it's Yang Zing support card, Yang Zing support card, uh, Feast to Beast, Pilgrim Reaper. Well, this. Kaleidoscope. Oh, <sighs> oh well. Can I screw everything? Uh, the sneak promo card. Sexy bitch, though. Um, squat mata. That's my super. 
Satellite Skybridge, which allows you to target no one Satellite you control, purchase some one Satellite from different from your deck, shuffle the other target back into your deck, so you basically switch positions, and then you cannot special summon any of the monsters except for Satellites until end of turn, and you can only activate one of those once a turn. It's okay, it's a replacement. Oh my gosh. Oh, this makes it all worth it. This this is what we do it for. Oh, blame! Shut out construct. It's pretty sweet. And then heavyweight samurai. Yeah. Uh, but this 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 uh this makes me all the happy. I am all tickled. I am tickled pink for this one. Well fuck pink. Tickled green. Because money. Um no. Dogu? No, seriously, there's a card named Dogu. It has zero defense, so you can use it for a uh, target for a uh, Mask Million. During your end phase, if a card, if this card is in the graveyard because it was sent by an opponent's card effect this turn while in your possession, you can add from your deck to your hand one monster of different level from the monsters you control and in your graveyard. You can only use the effect of Dogu once per turn. So I guess you can get like an odd eyes pendulum monster, I guess, or something of a different level, basically. It's a very long video, guys, I know. Uh, nothing really, the pig thing, again. But what do you guys think of this whole new set anyway? A lot of people, I think a lot of vendors and shops and shit are just gonna run out of cards to sell to people, to be very honest. Flash Knight. Flash Knight. Flash Knight. Um... No, seriously, it doesn't. Flash Knight. And then there is, uh, Beyond. Of the Young Zing. I think it's so fucking insulting to Asians. <laughs> it's supposed to be a representation of yin and yang. Of all the attributes of peace and warmth and harmony. That all things, uh, must be given back before taken. There's, in everything that is darkness, there is light. Well, that's the belief, anyway. But Tour Guide basically has a deck because this is a whole different support card that I didn't know. Graf Macambria of the Burning Abyss. Well, if you control all spells and perhaps you can special summon its hand. Hmm. Oh wow, this is pretty friggin' sweet. Seeing as if this card is sent to the graveyard, it's precious something one burning bits of monster from your deck, except for Graf. Got a badass over here. It actually can make a rank 3 exceed deck with featuring Dodger and Magician. Because what's a deck without Dodger and Magician? But a rank 3 exceed one anyway. Uh, nope, nothing. Nothing really. Uh, turn road again. If we hit anything, guys, I'll let you know. Oh dear god. <sighs> and let's see, during your end phase, if this card is activated at any time, you can target. One face up spell okay. Okay, it's cute. No, I was just watching the artwork. Because their artwork is starting to get a little bit better. Some of it is still really fucking childish, but some of it is okay. Getting there.
So that's a decent amount of supers I saw so far. Most of them I got my money back on them. Or hopefully I can make some money on them. We'll see how it goes. Yangzing Unleashed. Howling Battle Guard. Uh, that six. <laughs> well, that's cute. It's like you can change your dice order so you don't have to keep on playing re die and shit like that. You flip this up and you can play uh, uh, the old school Archfiend archetype, and then you can kind of just re, re choose the effect based on what you need it for. That's cute. Oh, I'll mix Alt here. The Stathelonite guy. It's pretty sweet. Pop up. Is that my Dolce card? If you're putting controls of field zone and you do not activate one field card from your deck, you can only activate one pop up once per turn. Shut all, I guess. But this is so situational. Him of Light. That's for the new um, ritual lady. Ooh, Shut All Beast. Oh, thank God. I swear I wasn't going to get anything from them. A Shadow Hedgehog and a Shadow Beast in the same pack, too. That's pretty sweet. I actually start building the damn deck. <sighs> well, this is one going to be one of the first decks I'm actually going to be investing any money. Oh, crap. Well, I got a next Yang Zin support card again. Um, it is... Chewin, Light of the Yang Zing, which is going to be fucking expensive. V. V. Stuff. But it's, it's, it's fucking expensive. And then uh, Mozarta. Too soon, guys. It's a few centuries too soon. He was an awesome guy. Guy's fucked up and wrote his name as Mozarta. Dicks. Once per turn, so basically you gotta find some magical fucking way to get her out. And then you can special summon one fairy type monster from your hand. You can special summon any other monsters. The turn you activate this effect except for light ones. So you can basically do whatever the fuck you want to after you get her out. Sweet, sweet. Beam. The last pack is absolute rubbish. I got so much of these fucking performance toads. God damn, I don't want to play a fucking frog deck. Shit. I saw a lot of fucking toads. Damn. And thank you, guys. It was awesome seeing you again. Hopefully, YouTube doesn't put a limitation on how long this video is. In any case, this opening was okay. I did not get the Shadow Ritual, the Shadow Fusion. I did not get uh, Winda. I did not get any Statalonite support cards. I hope I got a whole bunch of supers and uh, supers and stuff that I just can't use, to say the least. But I got one construct ultra, so there's hope. There's hope still. We can get there. We can get there. I believe. But it was awesome seeing you guys again. Hope you have a wonderful and awesome day. I did not get to talk much in this video about much of anything else. Uh, my tournament situation and and how did I do and all that type of stuff. And hopefully, next time if I can keep my promise for once, <laughs> you'll be able to see something about that. But I hope you guys have an awesome day. Uh, stay awesome, be awesome, have a wonderful day. Bye guys.